Check Ultimate Guard .com and find premium quality products for your favorite trading card game. Check video description or visit Ultimate Guard for more. How's it going guys? Once again, welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video, we'll be looking at the deck in the standard format. So, um, for today's video, I'm gonna play with Mega Handum EX. So, if you're not familiar with the Mega Handum EX, it's 210 HP um, fire Pokemon with that Inferno Fang attack. So, for two uh, fire energies, Inferno Fag will does uh, 80 damage, and uh, if you discard all fire energies attached to the Hondo Mex, um, this attack will does 80 more. So, um, in addition to um, that attack, we definitely want to have something like a Burning Energy because uh, if we discard Burning Energy with the effect of the attack, it's gonna be recycled back um, to that Pokemon that actually used the attack that requires to discard energy. Um, only one retreat cost, which is also plus side for the uh, Mega Handum, and unfortunately weakness is on the water decks, which means that against the water decks, you're gonna be a little bit in trouble, but against water decks, I actually run that Tauros GX with the Mad Bull, of course, and Oranguru, so these two Pokemons can actually help a little bit, at least, um, versus water decks. 14 Pokemons, 36 trainer cards, and 10 energies in total. So, uh, running 4 tree line of the Handum EX and Mega Handum. Uh, the reason for 4 tree is simply because you really want to start either way with the Handum or with your Volcanion in the active position. I'm um, running 2 Shamies for the setup as usual, 1 Hoopa EX, and in addition to that, I'm running 1 copy of Oranguru also, also with the Instruct and 1 Tauros for the surprise basically with the Ninja Boy. Um, so we can use that Mad Bull GX or even Rage uh, for the one-hit knockout. Uh, from the item cards, uh, as usual, I'm running one copy of Escape Rope, so I can force my opponent to switch his active Pokemon with one of his or her uh, Benjit Pokemon. So the same thing will apply for me. Um, two Mega Turbos. Even if I'm running those Vulcanians, I also want to have that Mega Turbo just in case I don't have... Um, possibility to attach two energies um, with my Volcanion, I can always just play my Mega Turbo energy from hand and I can strike for like 160 or 180 with Professor Skukui. Uh, one copy of Super Road, uh, three trainers mails, four Ultra Balls and four V Seekers, you know as usual, um, trying to get as best consistency as you can. Um, two copies of Pearl Cities, that's my decision um, with this deck. Um, I mean, with the Pearl City, you can limit your opponent bench space, you can simply discard some unnecessary Pokemons once they've been used, like Shaman and uh, Hoopa from your um, bench. But also, uh, Mega Hand of Mex with uh, some damage counters can also be discarded uh, from bench, for example. Um, Deliquent is also here just in case if our opponent actually play Pearl City and if he tries to. Uh, maybe limit our bench space or maybe just force us to reduce the damage for 20, so that's the reason why Deliquent also is very good. Uh, Hex Maniac as usual, uh, always good to have uh, in any uh, deck these days, same as one copy of Lysander, three copies of Anon, four copies of Professor Sycamore, pretty much usual for the draw support. Um, then I'm running one uh, Tech Ninja Boy, so I can simply swap between my um, basic Pokemons uh, between one to the other. But for example, you can also swap for, um, let's say, Handum EX with uh, 160 into the Volcanion and force your opponent maybe to take only one prize if you don't have um, something like uh, Tauros in your deck. That can also be uh, pretty cool. And one copy of Olympia for that free switch and 30 damage heal. And one copy of Professor Kukui for extra 20 and 2 cards. Uh, single Skyla, you know, simply because it's always good to have something like Skyla in your deck. It uh, helps us to... Um, take any card that we really need and we really want. Now, one copy of Fighting Fury Belt, are very important. Uh, it can be used on the Volcanion, it can also be used on the Oranguru, but it's mainly here uh, just to have more HP with that Tauro, so actually he can stand uh, more in play. Um, basically, if you first time use Mad Bull, let's say Tauros have 70 damage counters, you use Mad Bull for like 220, 210, 220, depending if you have uh, Fighting Fury Belt, well, then next turn, if he can actually survive, he can still use one more time Rage for the one hit knock, which is definitely important. But he can also be recycled back with the Super Road. Uh, one copy of the Floatstone, of course, for the free retreat, three copies of Spirit Links, and of course I'm running four copies of Burning Energies and the six 
regular uh, basic fire energy. So if you're looking for any of these cards as usual, you can find them on ccgcastle.com. The link is in my video description. You can also get 5% discount on your first purchase with TCG Center 5 code. Uh, also, if you're looking for um, a sealed booster box from the uh, Sun and Moon Generation 2, you can definitely trade your bulk in exchange for that. Also, uh, everything you need to know and link uh, is in my video description. Uh, so make sure to check that because it's definitely a um, good deal and it's available worldwide. So um, let's do some game test so you can actually see this beast in action. So see you in the game. Alright guys, so uh, welcome back to the game test. This is gonna be a uh, Mega Handum EX deck test in action. So I'm starting with the Shaman EX. Not the best start with the Shaman, but still, as long as you have that Ninja Boy, you can simply um, swap your Shaman from the active position with one of your Pokemons um, from deck. Plus, you can still um, have that shaman for the setup. So, I have plenty of fire energies here, and I also have my Hoopa, which is pretty cool. So, I'm gonna set down my Hoopa, and I'm gonna grab myself one shaman and two Hondums. Do I have Ninja Boy? Yes, I have. Alright, that's very important. I don't like that Giratina EX on my opponent bench, there is no doubt about that. So one energy is going to be attached to my Shaman, and then I'm going to play my um, Shaman EX to the bench for extra 3 cards. I need one more Pokemon on my bench. Well, time to play that N, not the best hand to be honest, but I'm not going to complain. At least I managed to pull that Parallel City, so I can discard that Shaman and Hoopa from my bench. Plus I can also attach one of my Spirit Links, and I'm gonna pass my turn, leaving my Shaman EX in the active position. This is very important, because I can get some damage counters to him. And that's mainly because um, if maybe top deck it's gonna be a Ninja Boy, I can maybe swap it into my... Um, Vulcanion, for example, so I don't need to discard one energy uh, for the retreat. But on the other side, um, also having some damage counters is better to, uh, to be on the Shaman instead of the um, Vulcanion, of course. But also mainly because I can maybe avoid one hit knockout um, from that. Um, Giratina for 110 with the Fighting Fury Belt, of course, to my Volcanion, but I don't still I still don't know if my opponent plays something like uh, Professor Kukui. I will assume that he also run that. But still, I'm um, swapping Ninja Boy, um, swapping Shaman with the Ninja Boy and a couple damage counters, let's say 30 or 40, is going to be also good because four damage counters can be enough with that Hor uh, with that Manable GX for the knockout against uh, opponent uh, Shaman EX. So he decided to charge Dark Ray instead of the um, Giratina, and that's gonna be one escape rope. Well, that's interesting. That's definitely interesting. What should I promote in the active position? I'm gonna get my ass kicked from by that um, Dark Ray. So, yeah, I mean, for now he can go for like a 60. Double Dragon Energy, um, 100. Fighting Fury Belt 110 plus if he can somehow get one more Max Elixir that's gonna be 130 and that's gonna be one hit knockout. So basically speaking about Max Elixir there we go um, there's also energy and it's gonna be attached to that Evil Tall so one XP share and overall will that be it? Yep just the Dark Pulse for like 80 alright. So Super Road is the top deck, and I must admit this is pretty nice top deck. But for now, um, I don't see a reason why would I play that Hex Maniac actually. Now let's just go with that Power Heater. Power Heater and one energy to that Shaman. Simply because I can Sky Return. I'm, I, I mean, I'm, I'm gonna be knocked out. I'm just gonna be knocked out um, with that Dark Pulse at the end of my opponent turn, so I definitely need to have something um, that I can use into my advantage. 
So something like Shame in the X, I mean the active position for that Sky Return is the best possible thing that I can actually have. So let's see. Ooh, nice top deck, which is a Deliquent. So I can actually tin my opponent hand for three cards. But more importantly, I can also um, discard, oh, V is Seeker discarded, that's cool, and also one XP share. Time to play that Super Oath, no doubt about it. And more than that, um, this is just gonna be one Sky Return. And I'm gonna Sky Return into my Handum with the Energy card, simply because I really want to use... Um, Maybe Mega Handum, so I can go for like 160, and that's gonna be enough for the knockout against his Dark Ray. Because I will assume that he don't have Fighting Fury Belt, but he probably run Fighting Fury Belt. So there is one more Darkness Energy, and it's gonna be another Dark Pulse for like 120. Oh boy! Imagine Ninja Boy as the top deck, but yeah, it's not gonna happen. So I have that Shaman for only two cards. Better be good setup. Oh boy, that's just a trainer's mail. Okay, I have Ninja Boy, and I'm definitely gonna use that Ninja Boy. I could go with my Skyla, but to be honest, I'm also happy with my Tauros. <clears throat> there we go. So, a Rage is more than enough for the knockout. Uh, Rage is 140. <clears throat> And that's the knockout against um, his Dark Ray. Of course, he can keep some of the energy cards. Oh, two burning energies. That's insane. So he can keep some of the energies um, with that XP share. And there is finally Fighting Fury Belt. And a Darkness Energy. And that's just gonna be Oblivion Wing. You gotta be kidding me for like a 30. And I can go with my Rage for like 170. Which means I can nax out his Giratina for 170. Like, do you even lift? I mean, do you even lift, bro? Um, I already used my Super Oath, so my bigger concern is gonna be that Dark Ray. So I'm just gonna use that Mad Bull GX. And that's gonna be 450 damage counters. And right now, I'm just having a hard time... Um, Getting that Mega Handumi X in play. So I managed to nags out his Dark Ray, and of course, he's gonna have one more energy um, for that Evil Tall. But more than that, I just need Mega Handum somehow as the top deck with the Spirit Link. Of course, I can't get two cards. And that's just gonna be it. That's just gonna be the nugget against his shame for the last two prize cards. I wish, I wish there was a Fighting Fury belt, but it was not. All right, never mind. So back in action. My opponent down to three. I'm down to two prizes. Um, just another V Seeker is the top deck. And tell you what, if I go with my Ninja Boy. Nah, that's not gonna happen. That's just insane. So, I don't have Skyla, but I have access to my Lysander, which is definitely a crazy idea. I mean, tell you what, why not? Why not try to Lysander his Hoopa? He might not be able to um, retreat that Hoopa. For now, I'm just gonna be okay. I mean, I can Grand Flame for like a 50 and next turn I can gamble. Next turn I can gamble with the end um, if I get access to the Mega Handum that's gonna be it. The question is can my opponent somehow retreat? That's the biggest question right now. No he can't. No he can't. There's just another Handum for me and that's gonna be That's gonna be the Deliquent. That's gonna be the Deliquent. There we go. All right. I mean, I could even Ninja Boy into my um, Baby Volcanion. And in that case, I could have Week 3 100% next turn. 
But since this is a Mega Hondo Mi X deck, I just prefer to try win this game by knocking out my opponent Pokemon with one of my Mega Hondo Mi Xs. But so far, unfortunately, I don't have none of them. Um, they're just Olympia. Okay, let's go with the end. Let's go with the end. I know I'm gonna get two cards, but I might just pull Shamini X and yeah, I'm gonna get Shamini X for six. So it looks like this game is gonna over right now. It's gonna end right now. So let's see. Shame for six. I'm looking for the um, Spirit Link and Mega Handum. Will I get any of these two cards? No. The answer to that question is no. But at least I have Ultra Ball. And I'm gonna grab that Mega Handum. I'm gonna grab that Mega Handum, and that's just gonna be Mega Evolution. There we go. That's it. I'm done. 160. Um, there's a Trainer's Medal of Hope, so I would probably laugh right now if he pulls something. Oh, Lysander. Okay, Lysander down to shame. It makes a lot of sense. I have four. Oh, there's N. All right, so he's still desperately looking to retreat somehow. His Hoopa. Another double Dragon Energy. But more than that, well played. So he decided to concede, he didn't let me um, knock out his um, Hoopa with my Mega Huntum, so I'm a little bit mad, but it's okay, so still managed to win, so it's a GG. Okay, so gonna start with my Vulcania, I also have that Huntum EX in my hand, so only two Fire Energies in addition to that available in my hand. Gonna play against Mega Caesar, so at least I'm gonna have that advantage. I'm speaking about weakness, but more than that, that's gonna be it. Okay, so Ultra Ball for my opponent. I'm gonna need top deck. Um, for sure, and I hope I can find something good as the top deck. Something like maybe Ultra Ball, Trainer's Mail, any kind of draw supporter, even Skyler is gonna be fine. But overall, I have easy victory against Mega Caesar. I just need um, two Burning Energies. All right, I mean, Burning Energy can be discarded by, uh, by that Mega Caesar attack. Completely forget about that. Never mind. All right, so there is Hoopa, and right now my opponent can actually set up um, for like um, two more Caesars probably and one Shamini X. Um, not sure if he ran anything else in his deck. Maybe Majernia, maybe um, something like a Baby Cabalion. But overall, this is just. All you can tag um, in a metal deck like Caesar. I mean, you can also play that deck with uh, Garbodor, for example. So my top deck was just Fire Energy, which means I can Power Heater for 40, and that's gonna be it. Power Heater for 40. Next turn, at least I can attach Energy to my Hundo X. Well, it's okay. It's okay because. Um, Mega Caesar can strike for like 120 with Professor Kukui for 140. Oh, there's a Central Lady. All right, so he might just Mega Evolve right now. Yep, that's gonna happen. Oh, finally something Trainer's Mail um, for N. Definitely, definitely Trainer's Mail for that N. Um, I couldn't, I couldn't get better. Um, top deck, so finally something good for me. And right now I can actually set up. Right now I can actually set up, which is the biggest nightmare, of course, for my opponent. So I'm gonna Ultra Ball. And I'm gonna discard my Fire Energy and that Super Road. And I'm gonna grab also that um, Oranguru. Uh, Floatstone should be attached to my Oranguru, of course. Then I'm gonna play Instruct. And grab two extra cards. Well, burning energy. Set up my shaman. Five extra cards, and then I can maybe play one more Pokemon on my bench. Finally, 
is something good. There we go, Parallel City. I'm gonna discard my Shaman and I'm gonna discard my Baby Little Canyon. And after that, I'm gonna just use that Power Heater. It's gonna be for 40, but energy is gonna be attached to my Handum without energy, of course, and Spirit Link, simply because I want to um, have two burning energies on my Handum EX with Spirit Link, and then I can simply um, attack for like uh, one hit knockout from turn to turn without too many problems. So there's a V Seeker for Santa Lady and Crashing Hammer. And that Crashing Hammer is actually a big deal here. Um, he have two different options. The first one is to discard my active. Oh, interesting. He decided to just get rid of the um, basic fire energy. And there's a Lysander to my Handum with the um, burning energy. And that's gonna be like 120. And of course, I'm gonna lose that burning energy, which means I can risk, I can risk um, playing that burning energy. No, oh, so he taking definitely twice here if he wants to discard it. Pearl City or energy. Of course, you should discard energy, no doubt about it. Um, hmm. No risk, no race. Sycamore for seven. Maybe I can find. Oh, no risk, no race. As I mentioned it, no risk, no race. If you don't risk, you will not win. Simply as that. So Inferno Fang for like 320. I'm running two Mega Turbos and I managed to get second Mega Turbo with that Professor Sycamore. That's just insane. Um, v Seeker and Burning Energy uh, from the prize cards. And my opponent is actually on his knees right now. He decided to promote Hoopa, um, simply because if he puts any of those Caesars, both gonna be knocked out uh, with a single shot from my um, Inferno Fang, so that's gonna be Ultra Ball, maybe for Shaman X right now. Was that another Santa Lady, or no, it's not. All right, so interesting. There is just a trubbish on my opponent. Oh, that's it. I feel somehow bad that he actually didn't drop anything else here. So that's gonna be one Ultra Ball. Um, let it be for Hoopa and Fire Energy. And I'm not gonna get anything here. More than that, I'm gonna play that PS Seeker, which is gonna be for N. Simply because I'm looking for a second Mega Handum, of course. And so far I have Mega Handum, but I'm missing one piece of puzzle here, which is gonna be Spurt Link. Mm, Olympia and Escape Rope. Well, at least I can take one prize here. Let's see. Trapsh is probably gonna be promoted in the active spot, which means I'm gonna just promote my Volcanion and then I can even Mega Evolve. Or I can just use my Volcanic Heat and attach energy to my Orem Guru. Oh, no way. No way that he decide to do that. Well, I don't have another um, option than just go for two more prize cards here. 320 against that Caesar and that's just it. I have Lysander for victory in my hand, so I also managed to pull two ends. And it's all about that Mega Caesar right now. It's all about that turn right now. Will my opponent get access to the Mega Caesar energy and Mega Turbo? We shall see. Um, that's all he really need for the Nugget against my Mega Handum. And of course, even N can put me in a maybe bad position simply because I'm gonna have only two cards in my hand. But luckily, Oranguru will give me the, that, the access to draw cards until I have three. And there is Garbador, so he might just completely lock me here if he managed to establish um, Garbatoxin ability with that Floatstone or Spirit Link. We shall see. Well, there is a Floatstone, so no sign of the Oranguru anymore. But the question is, will there be Mega Turbo for my opponent? I see two Mega Turbos in his Discord pile. I'm not sure how many Mega Turbos he ran. 
but there is just to be a seeker. Oh no. Looks like he don't have. There's just a V Seeker for license, but I think this is it. Oh, Enhanced Hammer. Alright. So I'm still gonna need that fire energy. Five, six, seven. Ooh, that's that definitely don't look good. Ooh, crashing hammer. Oh no way. No way. I'm gonna lose all of my energies. No way. No way. Okay. Okay. Completely forget about hammers. Hammers saves the day. Um, hmm. Yeah. Seek more for seven. Don't have really another option here. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. And one more time. Oh no. Um, Ultra Ball. Okay, I have three more energies left. It's okay. I'm gonna be fine. I'm gonna be just perfectly fine. Of course, if my opponent don't strike me with... Dang, I discarded my V-Seeker and just right now realized um, again that he had that Garbatoxin. I, I always forget about Garbatoxin. I hate that Garbatoxin. I hate you, Garbador. You trash. Okay, never mind. So. Promoting my Orangoro in the active position. Putting my Handum on the bench. Attaching one energy. Retreating my Handum down to the Volcanion. And I have that V Seeker available, which might be four. Something like Professor Sigmore and I can get seven new cards. I can even end my opponent, but that just does not make too much sense. Alright, let's just waste as many resources as we can. So there is Ultra Ball and it's gonna be four. Um, Deliquent and Professor Kukui. Should I take any Pokemon in my hand? Yes, I'm gonna take that um, Handum. After that, I'm gonna use my power heater, and I'm gonna power up my uh, Handums on the bench. And that should be it. Um, I have the Seeker for Lysander, which means even if he retreat his Mega Caesar, um, I'm gonna be perfectly fine. On the other side, even if he can somehow get those hammers like he did turn before, he can maybe just, you know, discard one or two energies, but he can't discard all four energies. That's the biggest concern and biggest problem for my opponent right now. Um, Ultra Ball looks like for just one more Mega Caesar, but that's it. He can't even play his own Pearl City. Simple because of the fact I already have my Pearl City in play. And as long as you have, as long as both players have same stadium, uh, the first player who actually put stadium in play, uh, that stadium will stay in play until the uh, second player or the player who actually put stadium in play uh, plays another stadium with different name. Because once you play Pearl City, the second Pearl City cannot be played again. So there's a Lysander, and it's gonna be to my Handum, of course. Uh, Iron Crusher for like 120. Well. You need to try it, you need to try it. You, you just want to hope that your opponent don't have access to the um, retreat. But for my opponent in this case, unfortunately, that's not the um, case. And I can just use my Inferno Fang for like 160 times 2. And 320 in total, unfortunately, against weakness, it was a little bit easier than uh, in the game number 1. But still, um, it's a GG and... Uh, two victories with this deck what else to say um, it's it's a pretty decent deck as always um, not the top tier one competitive but still um, it can be good and um, funny to play with it I hope you guys enjoy watching this video make sure to hit the thumbs up or dislike if you didn't let me know what you think also in the comments below about this deck um, so it was it was definitely interesting to watch both battles so stay tuned for more upcoming videos uh, make sure to check that CCG Castle uh, promotion for that um, sealed booster box 
where you can actually tra trade your old cards uh, for the sealed Sun and Moon Guard Racing Box. And you can also get 5% discount on your first purchase with TCG Center 5 code, just in case if you're new to the channel. Uh, you can check the links in my video description. So have a nice day. See you in the next video. And till the next time, have a nice day and goodbye.